So Jira has changed over the past few months and you might have already seen some of these changes. So in this video, we're going to go over what these changes are and how you can use this to still effectively manage your project inside of Jira. As we get into this, what do you think about these latest changes to Jira? Drop me your comment down below in the comment section and I look forward to hearing from you. So when you log into Jira, this is the very first thing that you should see. If you don't have a Jira account, you can do that and create your own free account completely for free using my link in the description bar down below. So let's go over what these changes are. The very first one is that when you open up your home screen, there is a change to what the two buttons that you see at the top left here, the collapse sidebar button and the switch sites or apps button. These two, I believe, has switched locations. So before this used to be on this side and this used to be on the outside. So it's a very minor change in position, but hopefully it shouldn't cause that big of a convenience issue for you. So it's still the same feature. You can still collapse the sidebar and expand it. You can even use the left parentheses shortcut to collapse it and then to expand it. And then this button allows you to switch the different applications that you're using. Now, the next big change is in terms of when you're actually going through your project. So let's open up our e-commerce shopping software app. There used to be a menu that was at the bottom of the search bar and the create button. That menu, which used to be at the top here, has now been shifted so it went from the top and it's now at the very left here. So everything from for you, recent, starred, projects, etc., that is on the left side and it's not on the top. The other big change is that the project navigation has also changed the location. So everything from timeline, summary, backlog, active sprints, etc., that used to be on the left side here. But now, with the newest user interface changes, it shifted location and it basically went from vertical to horizontal. So what used to be on the left panel here is now at the top. Is that making sense? Are you tracking this so far? So this shouldn't be a big change, but it does affect how you'll interact with your Agile project on a day-to-day -day basis. The big change, number four, is the flexibility to change the tabs that you're seeing inside your menu. So before you couldn't really change the location of each tab here, but check this out. Let's say the timeline, right? Let's say you don't want this to be on the first tab here. You can actually drag and drop it so it's between summary and backlog. You can even drag and drop it to any location that you want just by left clicking it, holding it, and then dragging your mouse to the location that you want it to be. The other big thing is left click the three dots here and you'll see that not only can you rename the tab, but you can also move the tab right, move it left or right, and so on and so forth. And I believe that this is for any Jira user. I don't think that you have to be a Jira admin, but feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. You can go into your own project and see if you can do these same exact changes. The other big thing that you can also do is you can actually remove tabs so that it's more customized to what you're seeing. So for example, let's say that you don't use components or let's say, let me dismiss that real quick. Let's say that you don't use the all work feature. You can remove it so it doesn't show on this menu here. So let's click remove. And what it did is it removed it from this top panel and it's now in, yeah, it's pretty much gone. If you wanna go back and add it in, you have to click on this plus symbol and add it to navigation. And then you can add on that view to add it back to your navigation bar. So I added it back in and now it's in here. So you can see it with all these other ones here. All right, so let's remove all work. Let's remove components. Let's remove actually code. And you'll see right away that it's becoming a little bit more streamlined as to what you're actually using on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, again, I'm not quite sure if this is only for Jira admin users or it's for, or if it's for any specific person who uses Jira, 
So just double check and be sure, or it may even be controlled by someone in your organization. So just be sure and see what does your navigation panel look like if it's not the same thing that I'm showing on the screen here. Let's go over the next big change, number five. The next change is this search and create bar. Before, the search bar wasn't as wide as it's showing here in terms of its size. It is now taking a much larger size of your window, horizontally, specifically. So it, it's meant more to be of, you know, searching across any of your projects, your boards, your filters, people, etc. But now there's a much larger window for your search bar. And then, of course, you still have your create button at the very top here. And that's a really minor change in my opinion, but it does have a bigger emphasis that the search bar is right in the very middle at the top. The next big change comes when you click on the plus create button, and then you'll see right here the word for work type. Previously, all things inside of Jira used to be called an issue. Now, with this newest change to Jira, everything is classified under the category for work type. So stories, tasks, bugs, and epics, they're now classified as a work type. This is a big change because over many years, you would have to say, okay, if we need to talk about issues. So under your issue, create a task, create a story, create an epic. Now you need to change the terminology that you're using and say, we're going to be creating a new work type inside our Agile project. Or it could be we're creating the work type specific to stories or bugs and so on and so forth. So you're going to have to get used to using new terminology specific to work types and not issues. The next big change, which you might have already seen already, is the icons. So you have tasks, stories, bugs, and epics. But do you see anything different here? The icons for task, story, bugs, and epics have changed. They're a little bit more modern. They feel more contemporary. They've been jazzed up a little bit, right? So tasks are now a checkmark box. Stories have a little bit wider checkmark box. Bugs have an icon for an actual bug now. And an epic is still represented by a Thunderbolt icon. To show you all the different icons, you can click on the settings wheel button here and then go to work items and you'll see all the different icons here that we just talked about. The other icon is the subtask, which is basically showing the sub hierarchy underneath the task, right? Now, my only comment here is that the story icon kind of looks a little bit similar to a task, right? They both look like checkmark boxes, but the story icon is just a little bit wider, okay? So the task is a regular checkmark box, but the story icon is a wider checkmark icon, all right? So that's the biggest change in terms of icons. So we have went over the top eight changes inside of Jira. I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all of these changes that we've showed inside of Jira? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, Elastin continues to make changes to how we're using Jira. But that's a great thing because every single month, every single year, it helps us because now we're knowing that the software we're using is continuing to be optimized for our user experience it has the features and functionality that we need so that we can perform our work better and also lead our teams and manage our Agile projects more efficiently. So I'd love to hear what you think. Drop me a comment down below. And if you need to learn how to use Jira more effectively and go from beginner to expert in no time, then watch this video next and I'll see you in the next video.